Okay, so here's the challenge. I have 48 hours to remake CSGO, but multiplayer. Wait, isn't CSGO already a multiplayer? Oh yeah. So I've been making games for over two years now, but I've never really made an online multiplayer. So what better way to learn about online multiplayers than remaking one of the most famous games in the whole world? No, not that one. Yes, CSGO. And to make this challenge harder than it already is, I only have 48 hours and I cannot use any assets that I've used in my previous games. I started by opening Unity and creating a 3D project. Now, since I don't want to get sued, we're going to call it CS Slow. Steam, I promise it has nothing to do with CSGO, please don't sue me. Then we added a bean into our project and shoved a camera inside his head. This is going to be our player for now. We then started working on the script for the player movement and added jumping, sprinting and a lot of basic things found in all FPS games. I then started working on shooting. So we stacked two cubes on top of each other and boom, we now have a gun. I watched a simple tutorial by Bracky which allows us to shoot using raycasts which is what competitive shooters like CSGO use. A raycast is basically an invisible line which is shot from a camera. If that line detects anything, it deals damage or else nothing really happens. Using recasts has multiple benefits such as faster and more accurate shooting while getting better performance. We also tried to create a muzzle flash and yeah, I'm not really good at that part. The guns however feel quite boring, so I decided to add a recoil system which basically rotates our gun and our camera and also adds a bit of camera shake. And yeah, the shooting looks a lot better now. Now we have a bean running around the map which looks kinda weird and since this is a multiplayer game and the other players can see your entire body, I can't just shove some hands on my bean and call it a day. We need to actually have a real model with actually good animations. So I went into Blender to create a human model. And after wasting an hour in Blender, this is what I had. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab the player models and animations for Mixamo. We downloaded this really cool looking army guy and downloaded some animations for him as well. We then imported it into Unity and connected some lines. And by some lines, I mean a lot of lines. We then wrote some code and yeah, it works perfect. Yeah, so we wrote some more code and there we have it. A model with totally working and definitely not scuffed animations. And that's about all I did for that day. Now for the easy part, adding multiplayer to the game. I'm sure it's going to be really easy. So I spent the last two hours trying to literally just download this thing called Amlapi by Unity and I couldn't even do that. So we stepped back and started learning about networking and different solutions. There's two basic types of networking, peer-to-peer -peer in which all computers basically connect to each other to send or receive data or client server in which all computers are connected to one server which is responsible for receiving and sending all the data. Yeah, I have no idea what that means, but after researching a little, I decided on using client server networking. Now I can either create my own server or use online existing ones. And since I'm dumb and lazy, I chose the latter. After a lot of web searches, I decided on using Photon since it seemed the easiest and there were quite a few tutorials and documentations available. I downloaded the asset, read a lot of documentations, watched a few tutorials, and we can now connect two players to one game. Well, kinda. It's a little laggy, but there is a lot more you have to do while making a multiplayer game, such as server validation, server prediction, anti-cheat, and so much more. And I do not have the time nor the willpower to do so much. So if you guys want to hack the game, it's as easy as it gets. Um, so before you guys ask why a player model doesn't have a head, it's totally intentional, definitely not a bug. I did that so sweats can't headshot you. Definitely. We also added hitboxes over the player so you can actually damage the other player and kill him. Talking about shooting, we don't really have a gun in the game and since time is quite short, I just downloaded some free models from the internet and imported them into Unity. We then wrote a script to switch guns and added some new particle effects like muzzle flash, tracers and an impact effect. And yeah, we basically already have a CSGO clone. But we don't really have a map to play the game in. CSGO has quite a few maps but none of them are as iconic as Mirage. So I went into Unity and used Pro Builder to copy the map and this is how it looks. It looks a little boring but we'll fix that later. We then went into Photoshop to create the icons for the UI. Added them into the game, added a health bar, a score counter on the top. I also wanted to add a mini map but I didn't have the time to do so so I just added a circle with a triangle in the middle. Eh, it works for now. We then started working on the main menu, a lobby screen to join the game. 
yeah they look kind of bad so we went back into photoshop to create the backdrop and the buttons for the menu and yeah it looks a lot better now at this point we had very little time so i just started working on the textures and added some tiny little details and for the finishing touch i just played around with the lighting settings a little to make it look that tiny bit better and to test out the game i played with one of my friends and the catch is he didn't know that i made the game so i may or may not have cheated and so yeah, that is the game I created in about 48 hours. I can't really release the game to you guys since I don't want to get sued by Wolf and overall the game is kind of janky and laggy and it's definitely not the best game I've ever created. But that is it from me. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe so you can keep watching videos like this and I'm out. Peace.